What's up everybody? I'm back again with another video. It's Joel. So I'm gonna be going over um how to make uh digital screen transfers. So um I mean I'm not physically gonna show you, I'm just gonna kind of discuss it and go over it with you. Uh which I kinda stumbled upon it maybe a couple years ago, but I never tried it myself. But it's it's a very similar process to what Supercolor does. Or so they claim they do a hybrid process of screen printing transfers. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, discuss too much on Supercolor or whatever, but this is a very similar process as to what they do. So I'm gonna go over how, basically just, we're gonna talk about how, how do you make them? So first things first is like, you want to obviously uh, get a a printer, um, but you want to get a, a laser toner printer that prints full color, um, including white. So you would probably most likely be looking at like an Oki printer, a, a, a Rico printer, or um, a Uninet uh, eye color printers because they they're, they're able to print um white and i believe there's uh this other company that's called ghost white toner um yeah they sell uh you know home converted uh printer white toner printers basically so that would work perfect um and basically what you need to do is you need to buy like pet um film sheets which let me show you how they look just in case you guys don't know how they look but basically just these sheets you want to buy that are specifically tailored to um that printer so usually those printers you know are they're only really printing like eight and a half by eleven or if you get a bigger you know wider format printer and then they're printing like 13 by 19 or even bigger sizes um so yeah, so basically, once you get one of those printers, all you do is just, you know, run your your uh, uh, images through the software, you know, do your color adjustments, whatever, hit print, it'll print it out. And then you just have a sheet with just like, um, you know, the image on it, including the white. And then all you do is, that, and then you print a, a, a negative for a screen. So then once you get that negative and you do the whole screen process, you burn the screen, you wash it out, dry it. Um, it's just uh, the outline of the design. So that way you can lay down a white base on it. But it has like, uh, you know, certain additives, um, you know, in the ink, uh, depending on what ink you're using. If you're using more of a plastisol ink or if you're using a water-based ink, yeah, so you're going to have to add some type of like additive to it. So basically, once you have your screen ready um, and your transfer, you just, you know, register both of them. Make sure, you know, it's just like the screen printing process. Make sure everything's registered. You lay down the film, you know, with some adhesive on the bottom. Put the film sheet on top of the platen and then, you know, bring the screen. Make sure it's aligned and then you just go ahead and, you know, screen print it print a layer of it on or two layers whatever you want i guess it's your preference right so then you just basically just lay on that layer of ink and then you add the adhesive uh powder and then that after that you want to cure it and then boom you have your 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 uh digital screen printed transfer um now I thought that was a very interesting, um, you know, printing technology, which I have not gone into yet. Although I plan to eventually in the future, because I think it's, uh, very, very, uh, cost effective and also, um, efficient, like time-wise getting all those, uh, transfers done. And they're actually, they're actually really durable. I'm not going to lie. Like I've, I've, uh, had some and, uh, tried them out and i thought they were great 
you know look the color vibrancy is great it doesn't feel it feels basically just like a super color transfer to be honest that's what it is uh or that's what i feel like it is and it feels like it uh so yeah that technology i think is great yeah it's definitely something to consider if you're like uh i don't know i wouldn't say a small shop probably like a medium-sized shop maybe small to large whatever uh, it doesn't really matter i think it's it's a perfect printing technology yeah basically that's that's the digital screen transfer um process and i i just wanted to let uh all of you know like there's a lot of different technologies and i thought this one was a very interesting one and i thought i would uh you know share it to all of you and maybe um you guys will try it out and if you do please please let me know because i would love to you know buy some some of those transfers from any of you that are uh selling them uh yeah so i hope this was uh you know something that uh you thought was interesting and you know it gives you more in um information on on this uh, type of process and yeah so if you want me to you know make more of these like type of videos and stuff like i i stumbled upon uh drop them down in the comments below and please could, if you could hit the like button and subscribe to help my channel grow i would appreciate it uh so all of you guys have a good one and i'll see you on the next video peace